Thank you very much. Now to a commuter alert, and we're going to warn you, if you're expecting someone who uses the Holland Tunnel tonight, they're probably going to be late. Look at this big volume here and big delays on the Holland Tunnel. Dennis Protzko on the Manhattan side over in Chopper 4. Dennis? That's right, Stefan, and nothing really happening here at the outbound Holland Tunnel, but uh, it's Friday afternoon, and it's summertime. That means huge delays. Everybody trying to get out of the city right now. 90-minute delays here from just about all approaches, especially on westbound Canal Street as we bring the camera over to the left here. Westbound Canal basically backed up from the Manhattan Bridge all the way over to the outbound Holland Tunnel. Also delays on southbound 7th Avenue and Verrick Street backed up a good 10 blocks as well. So, again, pack your patients out here this afternoon. Reporting live before Chopper 4, Dennis Prosco, Stefan, and Natalie. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you very much, Dennis. Now to another commuter alert for Metro North riders on the Harlem line. Forget about running to the ticket counter or the machines. You get starting next week, commuters can buy their tickets anytime and anywhere just by using their smartphone. The MTA launching its ticket purchasing app starting at 426 in the morning on Monday. And of course, that's just in time for the morning commute. The app is also available on the New Haven line as well as on the LIRR, the Port Washington branch. It'll be rolled out for the rest of the LIRR lines in late August. A Connecticut woman accused of stealing from a parent-teacher organization is headed to trial. Police say that Sarah Chiarelli embezzled $45,000 from the Monroe PTO while she served as the treasurer. She allegedly used some of it to pay for a trip to Disney. Under a deal, Chiarelli wouldn't serve any time if she repaid the money. But while she doesn't deny embezzling money, her attorney said that she did not steal $45,000. The fate of missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 could remain a mystery. Investigators are suspending their search for the jet. It vanished over the Indian Ocean two years ago. 239 people on board vanished. Crews will finish scouring the current search area, and then they're going to stop that effort. They say they'll pick up the search if they get new, credible information. President Obama refutes Donald Trump's depiction of America. The president met with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto today at the White House. Reporters asked both presidents what they thought of the Republican nominee's speech last night. The Mexican president said he does not want to get involved in the American election and would not comment. While President Obama said he did not watch the speech, but says he read it out this morning. This idea that... America is somehow on the verge of collapse. This vision of violence and chaos everywhere uh, doesn't really jibe with the experience of most people. President Nieto added he plans to have an open dialogue with whomever is elected in November. Well, still ahead here at 4.30, the new way to watch the U.S. Olympic basketball team starting tonight. Plus, a city playground turned into a mini junkyard? A van abandoned and locked up. What four investigates found when we started asking questions? Watches, warnings, and high heat for the area. It's not ending anytime soon. We'll tell you what the weekend looks like, and we'll give you a preview of the high heat next week. Stay with us.
see more stories from the I-Team on the News 4 New York app for iPhone. Tap the News 4 logo in the corner and select Investigations. Watch the top stories from New York's biggest I-Team. The News 4 New York app for iPhone. Available in the App Store now. Now to the countdown to the Rio Olympics. We are now two weeks away. The opening ceremony taking place in 14 days. And Team USA Basketball is getting ready for Rio with a series of exhibition games. And for fans, all the action is just a computer or smartphone away. The NBA says they will live stream nine games on its Facebook page. Five of the games will be for the men's team, the other four for the women's team. The first game will be shown on Facebook tonight when the men take on Argentina. NBC is your home for the games. Coverage begins on August 5th. You can head to NBCNewYork.com for information on some of the local athletes who will be competing. Very cool. Hoop dreams crushed at a local park in the South Bronx. Reverend J. Polite Playground has a beautiful playing turf and several basketball courts. The problem is that no one can use any of it. There's a lock on the gate leading into the park, and the basketball court, it is a mess. It's being used to park cars. A junked minivan sits abandoned underneath the backboards, many of them missing their rims. So who is responsible for this? We found the park is jointly owned by the Parks Department and the Department of Education. I, I, this is absolutely disgraceful, um, the fact that the, um, the school system and the Parks Department have allowed this to go on for so long. Um, obviously, this wouldn't be happening on the Upper East Side, but it happens in these communities. Coming up at 6-4, investigates how a basketball court was turned into a parking lot and a minivan left for vandals to pick apart. My report tonight shows this isn't just a story about an abandoned vehicle, but a colossal mess of city government. And also still ahead, rescue dogs flying high as we prepare to clear the shelters. A look at the life-saving trip that brought some dogs in need to our area. Plus, you might be the most famous toddler in the world. Why Prince George's birthday pictures actually had one group issuing a warning to pet owners. And a beach ban in one shore town, what you won't be allowed to use anymore.
Chopper 4 over a nasty early morning accident in New Jersey that left one person dead. This was over the scene around 6.30 on County Road, on a county road in Jersey City. You can see a tractor trailer, a car, and a pickup truck all involved in this crash. Investigators say one person died. Still unclear what caused the wreck. Vile and offensive. Those words are being used to describe a group of EMTs and paramedics accused of sharing selfies with unconscious patients. Police in Okaloosa County, Florida, say that two MTs started a, quote, selfie war, sending dozens of pictures and videos to each other and three other paramedics. Two of the patients have since died since those pictures were taken. Co-workers reported the inappropriate behavior to their captain. It was a sick juvenile game. I don't know how any other way to describe it is, you know, who can be the gro most gross, who can be the most vile, who can I get a picture with that, uh, you know, it's humiliation. One EMT was fired, the other resigned. Police find a very different kind of intruder in New Jersey. When Persimmon police got to Wood Glen Way, they found this. A red-tailed hawk had flown through a window and perched itself in a sunroom. One officer distracted the bird while animal control officers snuck in and secured it. After making sure the hawk wasn't hurt, they let it fly off, fly free. Our big clear, the shelters event is tomorrow. We are partnering with shelters all across our area to put animals in loving homes. And today we're getting a look at how far and how high some volunteers are willing to go to help animals in need. What's just a clearance archer 8276 X-ray. Mercury 5933, contact departure. My name is Clark Burgard, and I co-founded Animal Rescue Flights in 2008. <laughs> Animal Rescue Flights is an organization made up of volunteer pilots who transport animals from kill shelters, typically in the southeast, northward to rescues. Three to four million animals a year end up being euthanized due to overcrowded shelters. It is very important to get the animals out. Transporting them by air is a very fast and efficient way to do it. And for the pilots who participate in this, it gives them a great reason to fly. Animal Rescue Flights was contacted by the Westchester SPCA that there were five G-Mix puppies down south in Mississippi at Homeward Bound, an organization which was able to rescue these puppies from a very bad scene. The transport began yesterday with a pilot who picked up the five puppies in Mississippi and flew them to Tennessee. Today, the puppies have just taken off and they are gonna be flown up to uh, Virginia. That pilot will then be flying them to Cape May, New Jersey where they'll meet the third and final pilot who will fly him back here to Westchester County. I'm James Wilson. I'm a volunteer pilot for Animal Rescue Flights. Today my job is to fly the fourth leg to deliver the puppies to New York. Right now we're waiting for the other pilot, Nick, to land. Nick, I'm James. 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 Nice, to nice to meet you. I'm Nick O'Connell. I'm the president of Animal Rescue Flights. But I've flown over a thousand animals to safety. Dogs, and especially puppies, can't clear their ears. So we always try to take a slow ascent and a slow descent. Let's go rescue some puppies. I realize I'm going to be transporting rescue animals through all of this. This is amazing. We just arrived at the uh, White Plains Airport and the SPCA of Westchester uh, folks are here to meet the dogs. It's hard to let them go. We're the Dinahan family and we adopted Buddy. We're the two fellows and this is our newest addition to our family, Luna. I think she does realize what was done to save her life. For us, it's unconditional love. People came together and we all feel very special to be a part of these journeys. To be able to enjoy the thing that I love and then also know that I'm helping animals, it's amazing. I think every pilot who participates in a flight like this feels like a superhero because they really are rescuing. You're saving lives and when you save lives you're doing a good thing. Those pilots have got the right stuff. Pretty cool to see that. Join us for News 4 and Telemundo 47's second annual Clear the Shelters event tomorrow. For a map of all the participating shelters near you, head to NBCNewYork.com. You can drive, you can fly, you can walk. Just we hope yeah. to see you there. And we'll be at the Liberty Humane Society That's in right. Jersey City tomorrow morning. Around 10 a.m., we're excited to get out there. Uh, for first clear the shelters. For the animals. It is so much fun. We were out in Staten Island there. the other day, and as uh, as an adopted parent of a golden retriever who came from a shelter, I can tell you, it changes yeah. your life.
So if you're ready to have a home for a dog or a cat, go in. This is the weekend to do it. Discounted rates on spaying and neutering and no adoption fees in some That's locations. Awesome. Dynamite. Yeah. All right, and it's air-conditioned, right?